Thank you. Welcome to the second midweek lottery. Hopefully by now you're a regular, a bit like EastEnders really. Do you remember when Ian Beale was just a lad? Well, I suppose it was only yesterday. The real life character is a football fanatic and he's been out filming for us. Welcome Adam Woodyard. <laughs> Good night tonight for England if you're oh, a football yes, fan, yes. but uh, you're a supporter at grassroots level too. Yeah, I am. Um, I've supported Liverpool for the best part of my life and uh, I like going to... <laughs> <laughs> but I do like watching the local side, yeah. Yeah, what have you been out doing for us? Well, I popped down to uh, Ilford to uh, see how they've spent their money. Doing a bit of TV reporting. Yes. Oh, he's been out for the day as a reporter, so let's see how the lottery money is helping via the Sports Council at Ilford. <laughs> Ninety minutes of drama with no script. Football's been described as the greatest soap opera on earth. Next to EastEnders, of course. Mark, the Football's not just about the big clubs and sitting at home watching it on your telly. It's about the little clubs as well, like this one here in Ilford and Essex, whose life's been made a lot easier by a lottery grant. Yeah. With a lottery grant of thirty-two and a half thousand pounds, we've been able to upgrade the seating area, the old seats, so we had to take them out and have these brand new bucket seats put in and we've been able to extend the football pitch and also upgrade the lights. The pitch is used by players and supporters from every level and people having a kick about to local schools like this one. They even open up the pitch on a Sunday so people can have a game. Oh, it's in! <laughs> in spirit of fantasy football, I'd like to recreate one of the finest moments from my career with the East Enders cast side. Matthews, eat your arm out. Right, coming up with Doc Cotton. Doc Cotton, come on, Doc. Oh, oh he's wearing a little bit of... Oh, he's playing with yours. They're all falling in front of him.